All right, this is going to be short. I was uh, in uh, chapter 14 of um, Matthew yesterday. And this is um, about John the Baptist um, getting beheaded. A lot of going into about, you know, Herod's affair with his brother's wife. And then her daughter dancing and enthralling uh, Herod so much that he promises her anything. This is a little twisted because that's probably his niece that he's, he's at the hots for dancing for him. All right. And she goes to her mother and she doesn't know what to ask for. And she asked, the mother asked for John the Baptist's head on a platter because John the Baptist was um, telling Herod what he was doing with her was his brother's wife was, you know, sin against God. Herod wanted a prophet, okay, because in the past, kings that had prophets were very successful and, you know, and, and uh, God, you know, granted him blessings and things like that. And so he didn't really want to kill um, John the Baptist, but because he promised, you know, this little girl um something he didn't want to look at, he didn't want to go against his word so he he did it right so Christ finds out and you know cuz John's disciples tell him you know he goes goes the way to be by himself to to you know mourn or whatever but people won't let him they keep following cuz they want to get fed and they want to get miracles and and so he feeds them and then um he rests and the disciples Go out in the lake, and then a storm kicks up, and and then Christ ends up walking on water, and uh, Peter does too for a little bit until he gets, oh my God, I'm walking on water, and he falls in the water, and you know Christ is like, okay, you have a little faith, and then uh, they end up feeding five thousand men, and so it could be like twenty thousand total that he was feeding with. Uh, three fish and five loaves of bread from this little boy. Okay. And then, uh, so I'm thinking the whole time, I'm thinking, you know, that's just like, because I'm thinking back when I lost my friends in the Panama invasion. And uh, I was, you know, not looking at doing good things for other people after that. I wanted to go to war. I wanted to make the enemy feel what I felt. And so yesterday, I'm... I made up a flyer for the church. It had the different ministries and contact information for the, the whoever it was, whether it's, you know, Pastor Juan Salinas for Celebrate Recovery and and uh, uh, Jessica for the landing. Um, I had uh, the uh, Hope Ministries, Gracie. Um, for that, and then um, Trail Life, and my name was for that. And so I, I walked around 90 houses in FAR yesterday, uh, promoting the church, talked about 30 people, and crazy thing was, is like the one guy that turned me away was a diver, uh, in the, um, probably an army diver, but we didn't get a chance to talk at all, because he's like, oh no, 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 sorry, bye. And I'm, but <laughs> I walked up on these, these guys, these four guys, or six guys, I guess, and they had a flat screen TVs, two of them in the garage. And I used to have neighbors that did this in Panama, and, or in, in Pearl Beach. And uh, they you know, had a football game, had a college football game on one screen and a, and a soccer game on the other screen. And we're talking, and, and uh, one of them was like, oh, you and the SEAL teams? This, you talk to this guy, and there's a guy there that supposedly had gone through buds and dislocated his shoulder. And I'm like, oh, what class were you in? And you can tell, oh, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. It was like 95 or 96. I'm like, okay, I was probably at SEAL Team 1 then. But, you know, everybody remembers what class they were in, right? I mean, and uh, I didn't want to make the guy feel bad, you know. But then I went to uh, Michael Caballero's last night, and I'm like, you know, the whole time I'm going to these doors, I'm thinking, okay, I want a relationship. I want a relationship. Because that's, you know, this whole uh, 
God wants, doesn't want our tithes or our sacrifices. God doesn't want our sacrifices. God wants a relationship. Okay. And he, it says it like three or four times in the Bible, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. All right. And so that's what I'm thinking. Because when you go door to door, you don't know what to expect. You know, you, some, I've had some people like really get hostile with me. And and uh, so you try not to think like that. You try, try not to like, you know, manifest that. And uh, so as Mike and his dad were talking, and they were talking about um, <laughs> people not really being saved, you know, getting saved, you know, multiple times or, or habitual sin, right? And uh, and something Mike said to me, God, oh yeah, spiritual warfare. And it's not of, you know, our, you know, our wars and the spiritual realm, okay, and not against, um, you know, it's not in the physical. And I'm like, you know what? Well, that's what Christ was doing. Christ stepped up his miracles and his, you know, his, uh, you know, feeding people and healing people, walking on water, right? Because that was his best attack against the enemy. Not slowing it down. Not being passive. Not, you know, he was doing David Goggins, right? Uh, you know, uh, not, you know, uh, ratcheting himself back. You know, he was more aggressive with his, in the spiritual warfare, right? He was actually bringing about his nuclear option quicker and that was going to be getting known getting being more of a threat which is what was making him he I mean, ensuring that he was going to get put on the cross all right and uh that is what i get out of matthew chapter 14. everybody have a blessed sunday